Hi, I'm Emily of Emily's Line Fitness and welcome to this 25 to strong unilateral leg day workout with some heavy dumbbells. We are gonna be using some heavier weights today as well as a mat or a soft surface. And I also have a chair here. You can use a bench, a sofa, a step, or if you don't have any of those things, then don't worry about it. You can totally do this without that elevated surface. We're just gonna use it a little bit later on. We're gonna go ahead and get started with our warm up. So, turning to one side, you wanna have some space behind you here. Open your legs a little bit wider than hip width apart, and we're just gonna start off with some easy squats. Dropping your hips back and down, and then pushing through the heels to stand. Down, up. All right, so warming up that lower body. We're gonna keep this going, but we're gonna add a calf raise at the top. Heel lift, heel lower, squat, stand. Nice. Give me four more. Three, we're gonna hold it down. In two. Last one, hold it down. Now, bring your hands to your hips. We're gonna transition into a hip hinge. So out of this squat, you're gonna extend your legs almost completely, hinge your torso forward, give a flat back, and then we'll come all the way up to stand. So we go squat, hinge, and stand. Just paying attention here, or what shall I say, noticing the difference between that hip hinge and the squat, because we're gonna go for some deadlifts, which is a hip hinge. There we go. Four, three, two, last one. Come all the way up to stand and we'll go for some alternating lunges. Starting with that left leg, you're gonna step it back, right knee over ankle, left knee under hip, and stand. Right leg, step it back, and stand. There we go, whoop. Don't fall over. Last eight, we're gonna hold it down. Six, get ready to hold, four, Three, two, hold it down and just give me little pulses. We'll switch sides, we'll keep pulsing. Four, three, two, step that foot forward, right leg steps back, give me those little pulses. There we are. Four, three, two, last little bit for this lower body. You're gonna turn to face me, open your legs really wide, much wider than hip width apart, and we're gonna shift that weight to the left, stand to the right, and stand. All right, so what do we have today? Unilateral legs means that we're going to be tackling one leg at a time or one side at a time per round. We're working today with three circuits. In each circuit, we're gonna do three exercises, two rounds of each circuit, one for the right, one for the left. Hold it down, three, two, go ahead and hold it down, plant your left fingertips, reach your right arm to the sky, Nice, and then at the end of each circuit, we're gonna go for a cardio move. It's a little bit of power. All right, coming back to center, we're gonna go for our first circuit, which is gonna be a squat slash deadlift circuit, so focusing on your hamstrings and glutes. We're gonna start off with a goblet squat staggered. I'm gonna grab one of my heavy weights. Come to the center of your mat here facing me. You're gonna rack that weight at your chest and we're gonna start off by focusing on, let's start with focusing on the right leg. So you're gonna open those legs a little wider than hip width apart, lift your left heel, and step your left toes back so they're a little bit more in line with your right heel. From there, we drop the butt back, push through that right heel to come up to stand. We go in three, in two, 40 seconds on, here we go. Down and up, down and up. All right. So, circuit one, move one of three. We got this going for 40 seconds. And you're taking it as slow as you need to really keep control of the exercise. Try to keep those shoulder blades together in the back of the body. And you've got about 90% of your weight in your right foot, 10% of the weight in the left tippy toes. Five, four, three, Two, give me one more. All right, now stay there, or re relax, do what you wanna do. I'm gonna show you the next exercise, which is a staggered deadlift. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. Left heel stays popped. You're gonna hinge your torso forward and then squeeze the glutes to rise. I'm gonna grab both of my weights. We go in three, 
two. Here we go. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Push through that right heel to stand. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Push through that right heel to stand. You got it. I'm working with a little bit of a narrower stance here on this deadlift compared to the squat. So my feet are just about in line with my hips. My ankle bone right underneath my hips. There we go. We've got 12 more seconds. <sighs> Inhale to go down. Exhale to come up. You got it. Five, four, three, two. Let's do one more for good measure. All right, now last exercise. I'm gonna go back to just one weight. We're gonna put those two things together. So it's gonna be one staggered deadlift. Weight is in the left hand. Left heel stays popped. One staggered deadlift. You're gonna clean the squat up to your chest and then step out with that left foot to squat. We go in three, two, here we go. One staggered deadlift, step out, one squat. Down, up, and squat. Down, up, and squat. Beautiful, powerful, <laughs> nice. By now you should be feeling those glutes, those hamstrings. that posterior chain. So also working your back. 10 seconds. And then we'll rest 20. We'll go back to that goblet squat. But this time our left leg is gonna lead. Hand release. All right, so back to that goblet squat. This time we'll widen the legs a little wider than hip width apart. Lift your right heel and step your right toes back in line with your left heel. Weight is a little bit heavier in that left foot. Grab your one weight, we take off in five, four, three, two, here we go. Inhale down, exhale lift. Good. I focus a lot on my breathing and I recommend that you do the same. When you press through that left heel to stand, try not to lift your left toes. I want you to keep them planted. 15 seconds. There you go. Nice. Final five, four, three, two, last one. All right, now we're gonna grab both of those heavy weights if you're with me or you can stick with that one weight if that works better for you. We're gonna go for that stagger deadlift. Feet are a little bit narrow, tighter to the body. Five seconds and then we take off. Four, right heel down, or excuse me, left heel down, right heel pop. Three, two, hinge, hinge, hinge. Exhale, push through the left heel to stand. Hinge, hinge, hinge. Press through that left heel to stand. Here we are. Try to squeeze your shoulder blades together here. Really puff up that chest so that we keep most of the work happening in that lower body. In eight, six, let's do one more. Four, three, two, last one. You can drop your weights. We're gonna go for that stagger deadlift to squat. Weight will be in your right hand. One stagger deadlift, rack it up, and then step out with that right foot to squat. Five seconds, I'm not gonna grab my weights until I need to. Four, three, two, here we go. One stagger deadlift, clean it up, and step out. Now, when I clean that weight up, I'm actually pushing through my left heel. I'm not so much thinking about pulling the weight towards me, I'm really generating that force in the arm by how hard I press my left foot into the floor. Here we go, 11 seconds. Oh, we got this. Five, four, three, two, let's do one more because we know we can, and down, nice. All right, so now we have our power move. I'm gonna stick with one weight. You wanna clear out a little bit of space beside you, and we're gonna go for some walking squat thrusters. So, weight's gonna be at the middle of the chest, we're gonna find our squat, 
And then when you stand, you're gonna push that weight overhead. You squat, you push the weight overhead. 30 seconds one direction, not 30 seconds one direction, 30 seconds total, switching directions. We're gonna take off in five. Grab that weight. You can also do no weight if that's a better choice for you. Three, two, here we go, 30 seconds. Step, sh together, step, together. Two to the left, two to the right. Oh yeah. You're over halfway, things are looking up. And then we got our next circuit, which is all about those lunges. Five, four, three, two, and release. Grab some water if you need. I'm gonna tell you about that next circuit where the focus is gonna be on lunges <clears throat> and lateral movement. For our first exercise, we're gonna do what's called <clears throat> a Bulgarian split squat. This is where we have our chair or our step. I want you to grab the weights that you're planning on using. I'm gonna go heavy, see what I can do here. All right, and you're gonna put them about a yard or a meter ahead of your chair. And we're gonna start with that right leg forward today, okay? So right leg is gonna be the focus first, just like we did in the first circuit. From there, step your left foot back onto your chair, and you're gonna drop your left knee down to the floor. Step that right foot forward between your weights, and now we're gonna come up, grab the weights, and that's how we know we're in the right position, okay? So go ahead and find me in this position. 10 seconds, Woo! and then we're gonna take off. You bend the knees, and then you extend the knees, all right? Three, two, here we go. Bend and extend. Now my back leg is essentially just relaxing back there. I have all the work happening in my front leg. When I look down at my front knee, it's not passing my toes, which is good, right? I wanna be able to see my toes. And it's not collapsing in or out, it's really tracking like a middle line of my foot. Good, last five, four, hinge forward a little bit as you squat, three, two, and release. All right, now, I'm gonna switch down to just one weight. Next move, we're gonna continue to focus on that right leg, and I'm actually gonna show you my butt. So, here we go, right leg, excuse me, left leg is gonna go on your chair, right leg is on the floor, turn your right toes out slightly, you're gonna hug the weight into your chest, we bend that right knee, send the butt back, and extend. Bend the right knee, send the butt back, and extend. Good, down, and up. Should have thought this through, but what do you know? Sometimes mistakes are made. 90% of my weight is in that right foot, 10% of my left foot. I'm thinking of sending my butt back, hinging my torso forward. You got less than 10 seconds. And then your final exercise of circuit two. Four, three, two, and come up to stand. All right, now final exercise of circuit two <clears throat> is we're gonna go for a side lunge clean. So continuing to focus on that right leg, excuse me, continuing to focus on that right leg, we're gonna step the right leg out, and then you're gonna pull the right knee in. I'm gonna hold the weight in my left hand, we go down, and then clean it up, all right? Four, three, two, here we go. Step out with the right leg, clean it up. Step out with the right leg, clean it up. Now, if this is a little bit too intense, you can step in and then step out. You don't have to pull the knee all the way up to the chest. Once again, just like we saw with those deadlift two front squats earlier, it's the leg driving through the floor that helps me pull the weight up, not just my arm working. Four, three, two, and release. Oh my goodness, all right. So we're gonna go through that same circuit, but with the other leg forward now, 
So let's set it up just the same. This time with my right foot on the chair, I'm gonna take my right knee down to the mat. I'm gonna bring my left foot forward, left knee over ankle, grab your weights, push through that left foot to stand. I think that's the nicest way to get set up. We go in three, in two, and drop the hips back and down. Exhale, extend. Good, puff up your chest. Now I have the feeling that my chair for my height is a little bit high. So I kind of have to hinge forward a little bit to relieve the pressure in my lower back. If your chair or step or bench is a little bit lower, you may be able to do this a little bit more upright. More upright gives you more quads, more hinged gives you more glutes. So you can also kind of tailor it to what you're looking for. Five, four, three, two, and stand. All right, I'm keeping one weight, I'm dropping the other. I'm gonna take my right leg to the chair, my left leg to the floor. Turn your left knees and toes out slightly and bring that weight just in line with the middle of your chest. Five, we go for that lateral squat. Three, two, bending your left knee, send your butt back and down and extend. Down and up. I'm just gonna flex this foot, pointing it up to the ceiling. Inhale down, exhale up. I'm having a little bit of heel pain on one of my feet, on my right foot rather. So the chair is a little firm for my right foot, that's okay. So intense leg day, what do you think? <clears throat> for me, leg day is definitely my toughest workout in my week. So when I draw out a little bit, it's okay. Three, two, go ahead and release. All right, we're gonna go for that lateral squat to clean. I'm gonna step my left foot out, holding the weight in the right hand, and then I'm gonna come up, pulling that weight in towards the chest. Whew, we got this. We need to pump up. This is the end of circuit two. Four, three, two, weight in that right hand. You go down and clean. Step out with that left leg. And up. Good. Inhale down, exhale up. Remember, you can always step, right? If that's a little bit better for you, do that. 20 seconds. And then we're gonna get into our power move, which is kind of gonna build on this exercise. 10 seconds. You got this, stay with it. I know it is tough, but so are you. Three, two, release. All right, now, last exercise of circuit two. Whew. We are gonna go for some lateral lunge with a weight shift. So what that means is I'm gonna be holding my weight in my left hand, right knee is bent, and then I'm gonna switch, bend my left knee, right hand holds the weight. Let me just show you what it looks like so that we are all on the same page. So we go switch, switch, switch for 30 seconds, yeah? Let's go ahead and go in five. Get ready, get into that wide leg position. Four, three, two, shift your weight into that left leg and now to the right leg, to the left leg. Shift, 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 shift. Now, I'm kind of letting my weight suspend in the air a little bit. If that feels a little bit too nerve wracking to you, you can hold the weight with both hands and do the same thing. Send that butt back, hinge your torso forward. Use your abdominals here to give your spine a little extra support. Last eight, last six, last three, two, and release, drop that heavy weight. Last circuit is going to be all body weight. And we are gonna start off whew, with a clamshell hip lift. So, you're gonna have your left elbow underneath your left shoulder, knees together, bring them a little bit forward towards the long edge of the mat. You're gonna lift your hips and then lift that right leg up, lower and lower. Now I'm worried I'm gonna hit my chair. No, I'm gonna add a kick and then a lower, all right? That's your first exercise. Let's switch that, oh uh, no, this is good. So right leg is gonna be doing the kicking and we'll focus on the right leg from here. Five, four, Three, two, lift, kick, drop. 
Now, if you wanna make this a little bit spicier, you add a resistance band. If you don't wanna do the leg extension at the top, feels a little heavy, you can just lift that right knee. All good. We're really working both sides of the hips here. Left outer hip, glute me, glute min. Right outer hip, glute me, glute min. Just working a little bit differently. 20 seconds, a little less. And then we're gonna go for a single legged glute bridge with some elevation using that chair. 10 seconds. I'm closing my eyes, I'm working hard. You're working hard. Four, three, two, and lower down. All right, so we're gonna continue focusing on that right leg. <clears throat> Laying down on your back. You're gonna place your right leg on the chair. I'm gonna grab my sweat towel actually and use it as a little bit of a cushion because my heel is a little sensitive. Left leg is gonna go up to the ceiling. You're gonna push through that right heel, lift your hips up, and then lower down. Three, two, here we go. Lift, lower, lift, lower. Oh my gosh. Now I know what the final exercise is in the circuit. It's gonna be a doozy, okay? Just telling you now. Now, if this isn't quite working for you, you can place that right foot on the floor and do the same thing with your right foot on the ground, right? Correct. <laughs> 10 seconds. Ooh. Six. Drive through that right heel, feel your hamstrings, feel your butt. Four, three, two, and release. All right. Final exercise of circuit three on this right side is gonna be a hold of that exact same position. It's gonna be tough, all right? But we've got this. It's you and me. We will finish it together. Four, three, two. Lift those hips up, lengthen your left leg. All right, now, if you're holding it on the right side and you're like, oh my gosh, Emily, I don't think I can do this. First step is gonna be to lower that right foot, excuse me, left foot to the right knee. Second step is you can always kickstand with that left foot on the chair, still dividing more pressure into that right leg. Ooh, 20 seconds. Draw your abdominals in, lift up your chest. You can, you can, close your eyes, go to your happy place. For me, it's mountainside. I'm seeing green, I'm seeing wildflowers. What are you seeing? Maybe you're seeing beach, maybe you're seeing waves. Five, four, three, two, and lower. Ooh. Oh man, all right. We're gonna do the same thing, other side, yeah. So flipping around, I'm gonna take my right elbow underneath my right shoulder, knees a little bit forward, and we're gonna go for that clamshell hip lift. I'm just gonna move my chair. In four, three, two, Whew, here we go. Lift, kick, lower, lift, kick, lower. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Nice, if you're used to doing my bar workouts, this is more bar-like, right? Remember, you can always keep that top knee bent. Add a band if you want more intensity. Sure. But the point is, whether you're using heavy weights or you're doing the lighter weights bar routines, you're working, right? Important thing is just keep your body moving. Three, two, and release. All right, turning to face that chair. This time, we're gonna have our left heel on the chair, our right leg to the sky. Remember, you can always keep your left foot on the floor, okay? That's your option. Three, two, oh, here we go. <laughs> lift, drop, lift, drop. Good. All right, now what can I distract you with? <laughs> While you're doing this exercise, with that left foot, I have my toes pointed up at the ceiling. If <clears throat> your chair or step is a little bit lower, you can flatten your foot. Do whatever option feels better for you. You can also put your left foot up on a wall and do the same thing. You might have a footprint on your wall, but maybe it works for you, maybe you don't care. Three, two, last one. Every night before I go to bed, I put my feet up on the wall. Allegedly, I think it's good for circulation and I have poor circulation. 
Um, anyway, and we're moving. And I thought that I was doing this always with socks, very clean feet, etc. And I have like a half moon shape on the wall above my bed. Three, we we're going for that hold. Two, hold it up where my feet have been on the wall. So you can see there's a couple of marks here that before we move, we gotta do some magic eraser. Which, have you experienced a magic eraser? Because I don't know if I just bought like a bad brand. I didn't buy the magic eraser brand. I'm sure that's an actual brand. Um, whatever off brand I bought, not great. Doesn't work super well, so let's see. Could be that we just end up painting. 10 seconds. Oh my gosh. Left hamstring cramp. Five, four, three, two, one. Release, let us finish off here with our power move. All right, push that stepper chair out of the way. You want your whole mat in front of you, lots of space. We are gonna finish off with some froggers. So finding your plank position, shoulders over your wrist, legs are long. You're gonna step your right foot outside of your right hand, left foot outside of your left hand. Lift your chest, find a squat, and then step back. If instead of stepping, you wanna hop, you hop forward, lift the chest, hop back. You got 30 seconds, we're taking off in five. In four, we find the plank. In three, two, find your plank. 30 seconds, let's go. I'm hopping, in and out. Stay low, that's the key. Right, we're gonna keep loading those glutes, loading those thighs. Whew. All right, 15 seconds left. We're gonna find a stretch after that, and then you are through less than 10. Remember, if you're walking, you're going as fast as you can. Three, two, and release. Whew. Stay on the mat. Tuck your toes under. Exhale, lift your hips. Find your downward dog. Oh, feels good. All right, now, I'm gonna lift my right leg. Watch out for the ch chair or step if you have it. Open your right hip towards me, and then bend that right knee to open up your hip flexors. And now we'll bring that right knee in towards the right wrist. Walk your left foot back, find your pigeon pose. You can stay upright, releasing that outer right hip, or you can come down to your elbows, if that feels better. Whew. Big finish, right? My heart rate's up, I hope your heart rate is up. Nothing like heavy weights for a quick, effective workout, am I right? Come up to your hands, tuck your left toes under, inhale. Exhale, lift your hips, step the right foot back. Now you're gonna lift your left leg, open the hip away from me, bend your left knee. Take a second here to just enjoy. <clears throat> inhale, exhale, pull your left knee to the left wrist. Right knee goes back, coming down to those elbows if you want a little bit of a deeper stretch. You can also totally stay upright if that works better for you. <sighs> bum, bum, bum. Inhale here. Exhale, come back up onto those hands. Inhale there. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips, walk those hands back towards your feet, and slowly roll yourself up one bone at a time. Wow, wow, wow. Give yourselves a big round of applause. I hope that you enjoyed, maybe enjoy is too strong of a word, but I hope you feel good, how about that, after this heavy leg day workout. If you like this workout and you wanna keep working with those heavy weights, then I'm gonna go ahead and link you to a couple different, different workouts. So first, I'm gonna link you to my other heavy leg day. Perhaps you didn't get enough and you want even more. Second, I'm gonna link you into some of my upper body workouts so that you can make this a whole lower body, upper body, total body workout situation. If you like this workout, then of course, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. It's Emily's Line Fitness. I have new videos every Monday and I love making them for you. So I would love to have you a part of the team. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you next time on the mat.